What's up guys, it's Ryan again from Lake Hickory Scream and Marine. If you're new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now I got a quick question for you. Are you the type of guy that has a swivel turret first stage where you run all your hoses on the lower side or do you flip that turret upwards? Are you the type of diver that runs your hoses on the upper side like this? Well, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the right way and the wrong way to do it or is there really a wrong way to do it? So with that being said, let's jump into today's discussion. All right guys, so I've got two different setups here. These are my student setups. I've got a dive master student and I've also got a deep diver student here. And I just wanna show you really quick. They're both diving a turret style or a swivel turret style system. That means one part of it swivels. It makes it very easy for hose routing, whether you're in back mount, side mount, or even say uh, doubles or anything like that. And you, it makes it very easy when you're wearing it to get those hoses routed exactly the way you want it. But let's talk about having the hoses up top versus on the bottom. Now, me personally, I kind of set mine up like my deep diver student does, and I set them on the bottom. It hides the hoses very well. They're not creating any type of entanglement. However, it can cause problems in a, say, a steel cylinder where your post, which means your valve, is not actually high enough. And what can happen is that swivel turret can actually come down here and hit on the cylinder as well. Now, this is not a great example of that, but you can see there's a little bit less room here than what there is over here. And because this is a yoke first stage versus say a den first stage, this den is gonna sit in a little bit closer than what the yoke does. So in this situation here where say my dive master student, it was better option for him to run the hoses on the upper side. And all you gotta do is just flip your regulator upside down or the first stage itself. And it's gonna give you a little bit more play if you run into the, or run into the situation where you don't have a lot of room here. Of course, over here on the yoke, he's got plenty of room from, of course, the valve to his head. And he's also got plenty of room from the bottom of the first stage down to the crown of the cylinder itself. So is it right or wrong to do it one way or the other? Well, no, they're both right. It's what works for you. How are you going to uh, route your hoses and do you have enough room, say, from the top of the valve or the orifice of the first stage down to the crown of the cylinder? And do you also have enough room, say, when you inflate your BCD at the surface, is it going to kink or pull on those hoses in any way? So there you go, guys. I want you to understand there is no right or wrong way. It's just your way. It's what your purpose or what your needs of the dive are. Do you need to route your hoses on one way or the other, especially like me as a side mount diver, I turn my regs. If I'm in back mounted double situation, I turn my regs so that those hoses are going to be routed the way that I need them. In a standard recreational setup or a back mount setup for single tank, then I'll route them down and set up or up versus down or sideways versus left versus right. However, the need of the dive or whatever the need is that the dive calls for, that's the way that I'm actually gonna set it up. So neither of these is wrong. They're both right based off these divers needs and how their setup is actually, uh, or what their call for a setup is. Because I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. Let me know down in the comment, or in the comment section, do you have a swivel turret first stage, say for a standard back mount setup, and how do you run it? Do you put your hoses on top or do you flip it over and put your hoses on the bottom? I'm really curious to find out how you do it. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, definitely share it. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for today. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.